everyone, Brian Turner, Central Confinement Service, back with you again with the folks from Pig Easy. So I've asked Dave and his team, and he'll introduce his team here in just a minute, uh, to come in and show us all their products from Pig Easy because as you're looking at either retrofitting uh, a barn, say you've got some, some product that, that need to be retrofit as far as the feed system is concerned, they've got some great products which the previous videos have already shown us. Uh, but also though, when, when I looked in the back of the trailer they brought, they had this device. And so I said, hey, this is a cool thing. Uh, had no idea what it was. So I said, Dave, after you introduce your team, tell us what this is. We'll do that. Thank you, Brian. Uh, with us today is uh, Jennifer Ruby, sales manager at Pig Easy. Been with us since uh, uh, just several months now. And also is Katie Holtz, uh, vice president at Pig Easy. Yeah. All right. Well, so this looks pretty cool. It's called Breezy, which is a good marketing name. I kind of like it. You know, like to play. But uh, so those of us that don't know what that means, Give us, a, give us a tour of it. Okay. Well, what you're seeing is kind of a half-scale model of a pit pump-out made in PVC. So, but what the Breezy is, and it's abbreviation for Breathe Easy. Okay. Breathe, Breathe Easy. easy. And what cool. this is, is a, mo a, a modification of uh, the minimum ventilation system in most grow finish barns. Most oh, grow finish barns in the Midwest, this being the lid of the pit pump-out, has a fan sitting on it. Right. And the air is pulled through the uh, plenum, which is a pit, uh, pit pump out, and up through the fan. So I'll take this pit lid cover off. And what we've done here, and what the breezy is, is this sliding baffle uh, that goes between the fan and the, in the, the wall of the, uh, the grow finish barn. Okay. And what it does is it forces the air to come across the manure, right. the bottom of the pit pump out, and then up to the fan. And what we're doing is drawing the air off the lowest part of the building. Right. And the misnomer that is a uh, pit fan is that it's drawing air from the pit. It really isn't. It, the pit fan is sitting here, and the air always comes from the easiest point, the shortest point, sure, travel, yeah. which comes right up right through the slats and up through the pit fan right so in essence we're not really drawing the air out of the pit what we're doing is we're creating a lot of tumbling action we're drawing out that middle card out of the deck so to speak and the air from below and the air from above is tumbling and so we end up um, having pit gases uh, work their way up into the pig space not a good what, thing right that's not a good thing and so what this does is always pulling off the surface of the manure All right and okay. air travels most efficiently across a flat surface oh, that's and so neat. you're pulling from further into the building pulling off that pit surface so uh, now not not to really know what this does but i'm assuming because i see cables i see pulleys i see all this fancy cool stuff you're able to decide where that air is drawn from by these, these marks, were, which are feet, or what, yep. what are these markings? Really, for? these are just a gauge with all okay. your other breezies that you have around, because you put this on all your pit pump outs, all right. and that way you can keep them calibrated so they're at the same level. With a quick view, you can look at these, at what level they are above that pit pump, pump out lid, and know that you've oh. got them all at the same level. So that way you get that right airflow coming across yep. the body of the manure. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's, that's, uh, that's neat. Each pit pump out, or each breezy, has this uh, small hand winch which can be rotated to raise and when you raise it you can only raise it one turn and so they all raise approximately four inches that's okay. correct and when uh, the top panel gets above these rails that the breezy runs in you just remove it and you slide it into the pit uh, you can right behind it, right? You can, yeah. I can be your assistant there, Dave. That's not a problem. <laughs> and you'll pour it back there. Oh, very so cool. that's how that works. So this looks pretty neat. Now, is this easy to install? I mean, so I've got, if I, especially if I have a barn already, and I think, hey, you know what, Dave? You sold me on these things. i got to go out, and i got to buy eight of them just like right now. How, how hard are these to install? They're, you know, really very simple to install. We've uh, created we, an install video. Yeah, we, okay. we made it. Um, it was important for us to to make sure everybody is safe when installing. So um, the the side rails were developed so that way you can install them all from um, from above and outside of the pit. So there is no need to get into the pit to install it. 
Um, it's simply just um, leaning over the side and drilling some holes into the into your pit wall. Oh, very cool. Yeah, stainless steel uh, rails that, that the PVC panels slide in, and uh, we sell them in kits with the winch and the cables and the uh, uh, rails all all enclosed into the kit. Oh, Why don't you tell them, Katie? This will fit on a curtain side of barn. You just put the winch higher or lower, okay. and it also will fit on a barn that's fully. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good to know because as you have the different barns out there, you know you're you're excited to see. I assume that there's more information on the website about yes. all of this too. Yes. So yes. that's very cool. Yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit more? Well, first of all, where is this made? Um, this is all made in the Midwest. All right. Very yeah. good. So yeah. U.S. made and yes. U.S.A. made. So very yep. good. So uh, we did a trial with um, Iowa State University. This was a few years ago, and uh, what they were what they were wanting to um, uh, to take a look at is the odor levels inside the barn as well as ammonia levels. And um, ammonia was lowered, um, in, in these were all different types of barns, but ammonia was lowered 32% um, and wow. the odor levels were, were um, lowered um, approximately 40%, I believe. So um, it, it greatly improved yeah. the in-barn air quality um, for the pigs and the people. Yeah, that's really neat. Dave. Along with that study, we did a uh, a commercial study uh, because we had seen evidence that there was a lot less uh, propane heat okay. needed in these barns where the breezy was and so we did a side-by-side -side study in a nursery and what we thought was true was we demonstrated across three turns of this nursery approximately a 40 percent reduction in heated runtime on a room with the breezy without so the savings yeah. are huge you know that that and of course when we take a look at today whether it be energy costs uh we take a look at all those that really it's a return on investment that's what that's Absolutely. what you're after right yeah. so it sounds like a great return on investment yep a <laughs> rapid return on investment actually in terms of um of heater runtime so propane usage but then also just improved um air quality for for the pigs improved performance yeah. in that way as well well that's neat that's a, yep. this is a neat thing i'm glad you guys brought it along yeah so you want to tell us a little bit more about pig easy then sure so uh pig easy is a family owned and operated company out of templeton iowa um we are we are um farmer driven so um everything that's that we develop we use on our own farm and our own operation um and we improve um pig production and uh increase efficiency oh very cool Hey, thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. You got some neat thanks stuff. Once us. again, just go out and you can. We'll have the link to their website also with this, so you can check out all their products. They got some very cool stuff. Obviously, if you're interested, give us a call because hey, believe it or not, we can install that stuff for you too. So, thanks again.